What's going on people of the world? It is Patrick here and today I'm bringing you my ultimate guide to the new extinction map Nightfall. How this video is going to work is I'm going to take you through an entire walkthrough of the full map, show you traps, hives, guns, search bots, everything there is to need to know about this map is going to be in this video. From there, we're going to look at loadouts and just give you some pro tips on how you can get through this map. It's going to be a long video, so settle down and uh, if you guys could drop a like, that would be very appreciated. Now, let's get into it. All right, so when you first spawn into the map, you're going to be in this tunnel sort of area. There's going to be two searchable locations, and there's also going to be a soldier who approaches the gate. Now, unfortunately for him, he gets taken out by the breeder uh, alien, but fortunately for you, he has a couple of drops on his body and also the Maverick rifle, which is a really, really good weapon for 1,500 points. I recommend getting it at this point. There's really nothing better. Uh, really, really good gun, kind of like the AK-12. Um, <clears throat> Now moving on from here, we have a lot of searchable items. Now uh, we've already got them all, so you're just gonna have to look yourself, but I mean, they're literally everywhere. So we have a fire trap for 300 points, and coming up there is also an electric trap right here by this hive for 300 points. Now I wouldn't recommend getting it, just because you know, you're know you at the very start and it's just not gonna be that helpful right now because it's not gonna be too hard. So it's probably just gonna be a waste of your money at this point. However, eventually you're gonna wanna start using traps. We also have the turret for 750 points and the vector CRB for another uh, 1500 points. Pretty, pretty good gun, but not better than the uh, Maverick. We also have a tr uh, another hive there and the cast it, which is a grenade launcher. So just, I mean, don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. It's just gonna wa waste your money. <laughs> um, coming over across that catwalk to this kind of like main area of the section, we have the SVU for 2000 points. And over here, we also have another turret for 750 points as always, which is gonna be really helpful against taking out the, uh, the, the breeder alien, but we'll get a little bit more in depth into that later. And we also have that fire trap. Now in this area, it's gonna be first blocked off by a hive. There is the LSAT for 3000. Really, really good gun, similar to the M27 of the first map. I recommend getting it if you're into LMGs. I personally like the uh, the Maverick more, but go for it. We also are gonna have two lockers in here. Basically how those work are you find locker keys, you open it up and it will give you a custom gun. I have another video that's quite in depth into that if you wanna check that out. But uh, basically that's how that works. So that's a pretty important room. You wanna get into that as quick as possible. And I really recommend dropping the first hive on that one just so you can get in there right away. Now, coming from over here, we also have a couple search items and that hive. And that's basically it all that's over there. Not a lot going on. You can hop up here again, just you know, another way to get back to the, this main area of the first section. And as for hives, we have one there, there, we have one down there, we have one over there, and then there's one other, which we'll just see in a second. Also down here is another fire trap, but like I said, don't get it. Just gonna waste your time, waste your money. And uh, then the last one that we have is right there. So there's five in total and you have to take out four generally. So that's basically how that is. And then there is one more gun, which we'll just check out in a second. Just showing you how everything connects back to itself. Little, little area. And uh, like I said, there's just one gun right here. And it is the MTS, not a very great gun. I wouldn't recommend getting it over the Maverick or the LSAT, they're much better. So once you take out those four hives, you're gonna come back up here and fight the breeder alien. Now I'll get more in depth into it a little bit later in the video, but basically you're just want, gonna wanna stand up here and take them out. So that is basically it for the first area. Now the second area is much more difficult than the first. There's lots of phantoms, rhinos, and just everything into the mix. If you're not a good player, it's gonna be quite difficult. So there's a hive up there on that platform. We also have another vector and an electric trap. Now just a note on the traps in this area, use them. If you see them, use them. Um, this area, once you get here, actually your points, you don't get as much value for your kills. So you gotta be very, very smart with your money, but I do recommend using them on traps. Traps are super, super helpful. That fire trap back there will save you. It blocks off the whole area, so the only way aliens can get in without getting set on fire is if they jump through. There's also that VKS there, which we all know about snipers, don't bother getting, they're just gonna waste your time. Um, and then there's this little area you can come up here, kind of like a, you know, just get a height advantage on the scorpions, take them out a little bit easier. So we can drop down here and there's gonna be another hive. Now this hive, I really find that it tends to not be here. It's, it's one of the more difficult ones to take out if it is, but generally it's, it's not there. Um, you can walk up these stairs here. This one's a little bit easier to take out just because you kind of have a little, uh, you know, you have nothing, you have just a defense of your back. And then we have an electric trap for 750 points. And like I said, man, you gotta use them. So 
This one, there will always be a hive right here because it leads to this back area here, which is pretty cool. We have four lockers in here that you can use locker keys to get into. Uh, you know, you'll get a decent gun, but probably you're already ha gonna have something better by now. Or, I mean, you can just go ahead and buy the chainsaw, which is a beast of a gun, just destroys the rhinos for 3,000 points. And there's also an SVU there. Now, coming out of here, we have quite a bit more actually to this section. So there's a fire trap. Uh, the fire trap will go to the right um, and it will block off an area. This one will also go to the right of where I was looking at it. So it basically will kind of cut you off. Um, so kind of watch out so you don't get tra yourself trapped. Another hive back there. And then this is the third area. Now, we're not gonna go in there quite yet. I'm just kind of giving you a little teaser. <laughs> um, we have one kind of last section, actually two more hives to go over. So that's all that. That's a little platform that we're going to get to in a second. Of course, we have a fire trap that you should use. But coming around here, we have yet another hive. There are so many in this area. Now, just uh, just to look over there, that's from where we came. We've already been over there of the second area. But this is a nice little spot you want to go. There's always at least two drops here, I find, sometimes even three. We have a gun, which I think it's the ARX, if I recall, for 2,000 points. We'll see just in a second. Um, yep, the ARX. Decent gun if you really like it. But like I said, I, I still think Maverick, MTAR, and uh, Chainsaw are better. So that's an intel which is involved in the storyline. You can pick that up, and the first time you do it, you'll get 500 points. Kind of nice, but I wish you could do it every time. Um, anyways, so moving on, this last hive is quite difficult. And once you take out this final hive, if it's here or wherever it is, the breeder will come down, and he'll be on this kind of. He'll be just. Uh, he'll be right here in this area. And he's going to troll you. He's going to be like, oh, I'm going to come get you. And then he doesn't get you. So don't shoot him. Don't bother with him. He's not actually going to uh, attack you. But he will open up this next area because normally it will be blocked. So from here, guys, we have the third area. And screw you, Rhino Teabag. But anyways, let's move on to the third and final area of the map. Now, this area is quite small, close quarters. It's really the first time in Extinction that we had this sort of fight. But there's still quite a lot to it. Um, not many rhinos spawn in here. You're going to get about the same amount of rhinos as you do here as you did the last place and they should be easier to take out by now so you shouldn't have too much worry. Um, your biggest problem are going to be the phantoms and the scorpions who can attack you from above. We have the MR28 there. Decent gun actually for this spot just because it's got the range to take out the scorpions. And then we also actually have the L115 which is a sniper. Probably my favorite sniper. I think it's the best, most powerful. Uh, so it's pretty good. Anyways, this is the main area. You know, we have a fire trap here for 750 points. Again, I got to, uh, you know, really, really encourage the use of traps. They're going to help you out a lot. And also, we have a first hive. Now, if, once you open up this spot, there's going to be a little cutscene. I won't tell you what happens just because, you know, you can find that out for yourself. But uh, it's just kind of involving the storyline, kind of important. But not much else is in that room. Now, we have another hive here. And this is kind of the, the second level of the map. There's three, three sort of levels, three sort of stories. And, uh, you know, all, all three have their values, their importantness, their importantness, that's not a word, but all three levels are important and we'll get into the other two kind of later. So back to the bottom level, we have some lockers and let me tell you, there are a lot of lockers around here. I'm not exactly sure why, um, like you don't have, you know, there's like 14 lockers in this area and there's no way you have, are going to find 14 keys. There's just, it's just impossible. But I mean, you probably have a good, a good, uh, a gun that's good enough already. So don't even worry about it. Another fire trap there for 300 points. And coming up here, just be careful. Uh, for some reason, it kind of like glitches out and you can't get up here. So when you're in the midst of the battle, it, it can be kind of difficult to get up there and you can kind of get killed. Um, another locker there, again, don't, I don't know why there's so many. It just doesn't really make sense because you don't need them now. Um, and then we have another, another hive. Coming down here back to the main area again, there are a lot of these sort of areas and you actually can't get into them. I think it's mostly just for aesthetics to make the map look nice, but you actually can't get into that area, um, so don't worry about that. Now this is like the center of the map. We have two more lockers and we have a door which leads to the Venom X. Now the Venom X is very important, obviously. It's kind of the wonder weapon of this map. It's very, very cool. Uh, it kind of shoots like a grenade thing and you just have to, to get it, you just have to take out that hive. Now uh, another pro tip is all four players can get it and actually it takes up it just gives you a third weapon slot so you don't have to sacrifice your gun for it you just get a third spot for it um, and then the last thing about it is to get ammo you have to kill the scorpions and they will drop eggs that's basically uh, all there is to know about the Venomax decent gun but it just doesn't have enough ammo 
You have another hive back there. We can get to it from both angles. You see right there. Pretty good one, just because you kind of have uh, you know defense at your back. And here back to the um, back to the second area. So you see uh, going up, coming up this this ladder. We have the ARX again, and this is like I said before. You know, there's the second level area in the middle, and then um, you know it's all around. But we can climb up this this little staircase, and we will get to the top level. And this is where a lot of scorpions like to hang out. We have a hive here, and uh, you know they will shoot you from above. So watch out. Uh, it, it can be quite annoying. So always be on the lookout from here. Not a whole lot up here, just this hive and uh, probably a couple search spots around the area. Now, there is a whole catwalk going all the way around, kind of encircles the map. So when you're up here taking out the uh, the actual hive up here, try to stay over here just because you're not like right in the middle of everything. Give you give you some help, I guess, basically. Um, <clears throat> and coming down here, we can drop down and there is an intel and a gun. So the intel, again, just for the storyline, if you're into that. And then we also have the Vapor, or the Vepper, I think it's called the Vepper. Submachine gun, not worth your time at this point in the game. So that is basically the final area of the map. Now there's five hives that you have to take out in total here. Um, I think there's like seven actual hives, seven or eight, but you have to take out five. And once you do that, you'll be taken outside and you now have to kill the breeder. So there are two times when you have to fight the breeder. The first is at the end of the beginning area. And he's not as hard as he is in the second area. Basically, just a couple pro tips are um, always aim for the head. That applies to both the both sections. Um, you always want to put some sentry guns down because those are very, very helpful. And try hiding behind that uh, tower. Don't go in that room so much just because he can shoot fog or mist or whatever and you can get trapped in there. It can kind of screw you over. Try putting your sentry gun down in that area. But uh, yeah, you want to hide behind this this tower area. It's just going to make it a little bit easier on you. Now, as for guns to take them out in this first spot, the LSAT and the Maverick do well. But the thing that's really going to do the best is, is this uh, turret gun. And unfortunately, you don't have that luxury in the second area. You have to take them out with guns. But um, in this first area, you can use that turret and it's really, really going to take them down fast. Also, don't turn that fire trap on just because it's going to kind of like cut your teammates off and you'll have to go through the fire if they want to um, if they want to you know get get through to the other side so use this turret gun it's really really gonna help you but if you're you know any competent at this map you shouldn't have too much problem I'm not gonna say no problem because I will admit he's he's quite difficult he's quite strong and you know he's, he's not something to be taken lightly but the second uh, time you face him when you actually have to kill him is much much more difficult Overall though, I would say don't go in this area too much, use the turret gun, put your sentries down and hide behind the tower. Now let's move on to the time when you have to kill them. So once you take out all the hives in the final area, you will be transported to back outside and you now have to kill the breeder. Now in this gameplay, we actually don't kill him. For some reason, my other recording failed, but this is the best I'll have to give you guys. Um, but I do know how to kill him quite well. So really your best bet is with the Venom X. Now what you wanna do is don't kind of camp back here like we do. You wanna actually go behind him. Now he shoots his thing quite a bit, but what you gotta do is kind of sneak around him and try not to get crushed by him. If you get crushed, it's gonna be uh, quite difficult. He'll probably end up killing you, but if you can sneak around him, you can shoot your Venomax at him and it will take him out. It will really, really get him good. And uh, that, is, that is a really, really smart thing. Once he takes quite a bit of damage, he will fall over and he'll kind of be free. You'll be free to just take him out at your leisure. Um, but really guys, you, your best strategy on taking him out is sneaking behind him. Now, not everyone can sneak behind him because he'll turn around and he faces you. But if you can get one or two guys to go around, other guys just kind of hide and taking out aliens, I think that is probably your best bet so far. I, that's what I've done in the past and it worked. Um, but yeah, don't just try to take them out from a long shot because you can do it, but it's gonna take you a really long time and you'll probably run out of money and it, it just, it, it is quite, quite difficult taking them out. Um, anyways, go, takes quite a while. I think there's an achievement if you take them out in less than five minutes. So, you know, just take that in mind that it is gonna take you quite some time. And uh, anyways, yeah, so that is how you kill the breeder. And lastly, guys, we're going to look at a good four player loadout strategy. Now, the first person we're going to have is the Slayer number one, and they're going to have the weapon specialist perk um, for pistol type. Go with whatever you want, but I recommend the MP443. Uh, for ammo type, I really like the armor piercing. It's great against taking out the rhinos, just, just really, really knocks them down. Uh, for team support, armor usually tends to be your best bet. Feral's, ten, feral's good, but armor for this class. 
Um, for your strike package, you're gonna want to go sentry gun. It really, really just racks up and is amazingly helpful. It's basically like another person. And as for equalizer, none of them are overly amazing in this. They don't help that much. But I just go uh, crowd control because it, you know, gives you a little extra health. Player number two is also going to be a Slayer, and they're going to have the Weapon Specialist as well. Again, pistol, pick whatever you want, but I recommend the MP443 Grack. For ammo, we're going to switch it up and go with Explosive. This is probably a really good ammo uh, choice too. They're both good, but I recommend uh, having the little variety. For team support, now this one's kind of weird. I think you probably want to switch it up on this and go with Feral Instincts. It's really, really helpful, um, and I, I just think that, you know, if you only have the armor you might get a little little stagnant so you want to have feral instincts at least on one person and your best bet is to go with slayer number two for strike package again i just go sentry gun i mean they're another person and they help you out so much and for equalizer i mean this one really it doesn't matter i guess it just comes down to your preference but I, for most of them i just recommend crowd control because it gives you a little extra health um, and that your next person is going to be a medic. The medic plays a vital role in, on this map, so go with that. For pistol, again, whatever you want, I recommend MP443. Ammo type, again, go back to the armor piercing. You want mostly armor piercing, but a little bit of little bit of explosive as well for taking out the guys at the start. Um, for team support, you're gonna want armor because obviously they're a medic. They're gonna you know be deploying health and all that stuff, helping people out. Very very good. Uh, choice and for strike package this one's kind of weird and I, I i would go with either vulture or ims ims is like kind of as another support role that's going to be like the medic um it's really really helpful for saving your sentry guns because you know it'll it'll keep guys off it make your sentry guns last longer effectively uh you know being another support role for your team so and your last thing of course is as always going to be the uh riot shield unless you like something else then go for that so that is your medic. We have a slayer number one, slayer number two, and a medic. Now as for your last class, you really have uh, quite a choice here. My two recommendations would either be go with another weapon specialist, the slayer. I mean, there's just so many aliens on this map. You're never going to go wrong with another slayer. But another good choice is to go with the engineer. Um, the tank is is good for players starting off, but you know that extra health really doesn't matter when you have a medic and people are dropping uh, health all the time. It's just not as important, and you're not going to be um, you're obviously not going to be knifing too much towards the end. So I would go with the engineer or the slayer. Again, same pistol, whatever you want. As for ammo type, this is another kind of choice. You know, this class is really kind of whatever you want. I'd say armor piercing ammo, but you can also go with the explosives depending on how your team likes it, how how you, uh, you know, what you like. This is really just kind of a general guide if you have no idea what to do. But I mean, you can mix this up, change it, tweak it to your liking, to whatever suits you the most. For team support, um, this one's kind of weird again. Armor, you're never wrong to go with more armor, but you know, you could also go with the random, just it, it switches things up, and you know, when you get like plus four, um, you know, feral or even uh, reload or just anything, it can be really helpful. Uh, but you know, like I said, you're never wrong with uh, armor for strike package. I'd either go with sentry or vulture, but make sure you don't have two vultures. If the medic has vulture, don't get vulture. Um, that's that. And then as equalizer, again, it's always the same. Do, do whatever you want. So there you go, guys. That is, your, my, personally, I think your best bet if you're going for a four-player loadout strategy. But anyways, guys, that is all I have to bring you today. I hope you found that video helpful. I hope you learned something. Maybe uh, you're brand new to this and you're just figuring everything out and maybe this video helped you out. Now, if it did, you could drop a like. That would be really, really appreciated. You know, just getting this video out to everyone else, getting all the everyone good at Nightfall, that'd be really awesome. Also, if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. I'll be bringing you guys a lot of Extinction uh, content and I also do some zombies here and then. Anyways, guys, I'll talk to you later and I hope you have a good day. Peace out.